So we're live again. Welcome back, everybody. What's uh, the question now? That, uh, we're thinking about how do you calculate the work, the boundary work of this thing, Dad? And your first question for me was, do you use the initial pressure or the final pressure? And my response was that it's the integral of PDV. Where is the thing doing work? Doing what stage of the problem is, is boundary work being done? On multiple stages. One to five? Yeah, I would say, yeah, multiple stages. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I would say that no boundary work was done until the big brick was lifted off. Yeah, that's when the volume changes. Yeah, right, that's when the volume changes, when the big brick is moving up towards the little brick. Here to there, here to there. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, and you know the pressure is that's going up, you found that. So, as the brick's traveling up, you're going to have your volume increasing until you touch that brick, and then your volume's going to stay the same. Uh -huh. And once that gets enough pressure built, it's going to actually start to lift off again, and your volume will start to change again when your pressure reaches that point of pushing against the atmosphere on both bricks to raise. Sure. So do you, would you agree with me that... So that's where you're doing work, is at that end point where they're pushing and changing against the atmosphere and the bricks. Yeah. Where you're doing yep. work. I would say you're doing work both when you lift the first brick up yeah. and while you're lifting the little brick as well. Right. Yep. And would you agree with me that pressure is constant during both of those? Yes. yes. Yeah. So you know the pressure in both cases, you know the delta V, and you can calculate the total boundary work done.